Welcome back to our eighth annual award show. This time, we are nominating the scumbag of 2022. If you don't already know how it works, this is how it works. I make four nominations, and then I put it to a vote and allow our audience across YouTube, Patreon, and Twitter to ultimately decide. So here are the four nominations that I have for scumbag of 2022. The first one was absolutely easy. Vladimir Putin. I mean, he literally invaded another country that did not attack him. This is his Iraq war moment. This is imperialism, and this has led to catastrophic amounts of suffering. And to make matters worse, he threatened nuclear war, which effectively means that he's threatening to end life on the planet. And there really isn't anything more despicable than somebody who's threatening doomsday because of his own petulant demands. So fuck Vladimir Putin. Fuck all of his sims. He's my first nomination. Second of all, this was really difficult for me because, yes, the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, but who exactly do you choose to nominate among the Supreme Court justices? Do you pick Clarence Thomas, who, in his concurring opinion, says we should go after other civil rights? Do you pick Alito, who wrote the deciding opinion in Dobbs. Well, I decided to just throw the whole ass institution up for a nomination because how could you not reject this illegitimate institution? They didn't just overturn Roe v. Wade. They gutted the EPA. They gutted the separation between church and state. They've done so many terrible things, so many attacks that they've launched against our civil rights and civil liberties that you can't not just throw the entire institution up for a nomination. My next nominee is the anti-gay Republican governors, namely Greg Abbott and Ron DeSantis, but you can add others to this list as well. Ron DeSantis single-handedly repopularized homophobia with his don't say gay bill which even managed to attract the support of normie democrats and perhaps the most egregious is greg abbott who in texas is investigating families who sought out gender affirming care for their trans children which has been so catastrophic that families with trans children in texas are becoming political refugees quite literally they're having to flee the state possibly the country to avoid prosecution to avoid extradition back to texas for prosecution it is genuinely dystopian and orwellian to the highest degree but i couldn't just pick one of these anti-gay governors so i had to throw all of the ones up there the biggest defenders now the last one i kind of struggled on this should i or shouldn't i nominate this person but i said fuck it let's do it Ginny thomas or as i like to pronounce her name Janai thomas because this individual quite literally tried to overturn the results of a democratic election and she used her power and proximity to a supreme court justice to accomplish that now thankfully she failed but regardless her just trying to do that and then smiling in front of cameras pretending as if she didn't just partake in a coup it's just insufferable, and I hate her, and I hate people like her. So I threw her up there. Now, before we get to the results, let's look back at the history of the scumbags on this channel. Last year's winner was Manchinema. That is the duo of Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema, And the runner-up was world leaders blocking vaccine waivers because of the untold deaths that they caused. Now, back in 2020 and 2019, we had Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump. In 2018, Donald Trump was the scumbag with Paul Ryan as the runner-up. In 2017, Ajit Pai won for repealing net neutrality. Donald Trump was the runner-up. And in 2016, Hillary Clinton was was the scumbag of the year for losing to Donald Trump, which should have been a layup with corporate media in a second place for that year. In 2015, Donald Trump won and Debbie Wasserman Schultz was the runner up. But who's going to join the ranks of our scumbag of the year? Well, the results are in and the Humanist Report's biggest scumbag of 2022 with more than 6,000 votes coming in first place across Patreon, Twitter, and YouTube is the United States Supreme Court. 
with Vladimir Putin as the runner-up with over 3,800 votes. Now let's get to some comments. Jane W. says, Yep, Supreme Court definitely needs to get expanded and rebalanced to represent the entire country, not party. Evie says, I have to say, the governor just because all the horrible shit Abbott and DeSantis did really hit me hard. Just the unending cruelty was painful to watch. Totally agree. Justin Shim says, Wow, this is a really tough one. Ended up going with Putin for the sheer amount of misery he's caused this year. The Timberwolf 44 says, can you really rank levels of evil? You can't really compare and contrast monsters. They are all their own unique brand of horrible and all need to be opposed and stopped. Yeah, that's a great point. Wayne Robertson says, as an Australian, I vote Rupert Murdoch and News Corp. Fair point, Wayne. Fubar says, I nominate Elon Musk. That's fair. I think that he deserves an honorary mention, but the winner this year is the Supreme Court, folks. So there you have it. That is our scumbag of 2022, the entire institution of the U.S. Supreme Court. Up next tomorrow is our MVP of 2022, which is the most prestigious award of the year. I'll see you then. Were you acting like a beta? Beta! I'm a man, not a beta.